This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Okay, how's it going everybody and welcome to Ever Air Gaming give you a brand new aside a let's play of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Nintendo Switch. So this here is the youngest sequel to the Breath of the Wild which I played by by a long shot back in the Wii U days. But uh, yeah, I mean it brings us to nostalgic, but let's just go ahead and explore real quick. So can we go up there? So Link has okay, Link has something call it your attention. Whatever it is that we can uh, plan to look at adding and on our way back out. Let's continue our descent. Okay, fair enough, game. Fair enough. I will just go and follow her lead. I mean, she is the princess at all, so she's holding the, the, the torch. So this is beneath Hyrule Castle. Okay, so we're underneath the, the bedrock going in here. So, yeah. So, um, this has been so long for, um, we, we've been late, waiting six years for a sequel of Breath of the Wild for, for very long. So I'll uh, talk to Zelda. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Okay, so whatever it lies, I mean, we just go ahead and follow this lead. Okay, so just to take a look at what Link is dressing. So, can we go ahead and press on pause? Okay, so it just go ahead and show the basic controls. Okay, so look at the basic control over here. So, we can go ahead and focus on pressing ZL, move the L stick, A to A for action, B to put away the weapon, S to jump, and yeah, so still R is to control the camera. So, uh, let's go ahead and press B and go follow Zelda. So Zelda is going to lead us to the supper, whatever comes beneath it. I mean, we might as well see to it. So yeah, because um, this is well, this usually show more game footage of of this place. I mean, somehow we get to underwatch a bit of this um this gameplay trailer or whatsoever. I mean, it just go ahead and show the uh, the whole rest of of uh, Zelda just holding the the, uh, the torch. And uh, yeah, like, let's let's just. Listen to what Zelda had to say. Hmm. Oh, actually, we could just uh, go and read what Zelda had to say in her mind. I never imagined that Vista was all deep beneath the Hyrule Castle. Okay, so we still gotta... Well, we can't go follow Zelda anymore, so, um, Link. Hmm. The Master Sword. All right, I, now I remember. So we still got the master sword. Interesting. It might be sense of something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of the calamity, the uh, castle had fallen to neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these the tunnels are. The tunnel was hiding here. Uh. We, we must be careful as we move deeper. Okay, so we can explain ourselves with why. Okay, but we just can't go and attack or anything because yeah, well we'll just keep the other map so in case everything in case everything comes up. Let look here. Um, okay, so uh we're getting here is these writings. These are runes are from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might be runes to be from the Zonai? Afraid not. Okay, well, let's continue. Oh, look at this. Okay, Zelda, what now? You found something? Something on your mind? These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonas in origin. 
I I seen a designer like be like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possess a godlike power and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but the none to give us the full picture. Must it still a none about them? Okay, well, still, let's uh, let's just keep following. Okay, so are we so can we look at this ruins over here on the on the right? Zelda. Okay, so we have to go and talk to her now. And this is uh, what the Zonai look like. They seem so different than us in such a lot of years. How did the ruins from the civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead that goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Why, yes, ma'am. Uh, let's indeed continue moving. Okay, so we're gonna just take nice Joel walls. I mean, I don't mind the running, but uh, yeah, we could just walk normally, just like Zelda. I mean, we can walk slowly. I mean, it's 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 fine. I mean, we we don't just don't have to go ahead and rush up, rush out just to do whatever we want to do around here. So we're just look at all of these that agent civilization in every ruins. Now what's going on here? Okay, so now we got these keys. You're not hurt, are you, Link? Look at these murals. <sighs> the written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier, a Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... the Kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Oh. Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! This is the Imprisoning War, and the events that led up to it! Link! This is a huge discovery! <laughs> All right then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Well, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. What is this place? 
Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. All right, so that was a bit more tragical going on here because uh, listening to, to Zelda tell the tale of the um, the great Demon King, I mean, that had to be the um, the drawing that we went to the saw because Ganondorf can uh, take control of all of his minions. Because he had the power to go ahead and gain further darkness uh, whenever it comes up. So yeah, well, it's been like um, like six years since Alain had defeated Calamity Ganon and restored World Peace to Hyrule. I mean, that's how far that I can see. Now, what was looking at all of these uh, dark curses looking on the ground? So uh, yeah, let's just, just push onward. But dang, I got a whole lot of stamina, but I can go and run a lot faster. All right, Link, I see ya. So what is this? What is this place? Let's continue, Link. But we must be extremely careful. Um, okay, you're the princess. I believe in you. What is that?
Link, finally you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Okay, so... It seemed like that we were taking injury about this stuff falling, so... Link got a new left arms of his side, I mean, whatever it is, I mean, it may be a curse. So, yeah, well, the Master Sword is still there, so let's go ahead and examine the Master Sword. Okay, so this is the Decay Master Sword. But the sword that seal of darkness, its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath a Hyrule Castle. Okay, fair point. Let's let's go ahead and explain more about it while we listen and hear this mysterious voice talking. Oh, actually, no. I think no, I. I mean. <laughs> I thought some someone's going to be uh, talking more about it, but uh, that's all right. Well, that was going to be close enough. Okay, so we use the weapon by pressing Y to attack. Okay, well, we, we kind of get the basic here. So here we are holding the the Decay Master Sword. So uh, it's it's nothing that we can do but um, finding any repairment to to get this uh, Master Sword in fully re repaired. So uh, now let, what are we looking at here? And we go and examine. Okay, so it's some um, seal curse. Okay, so what are this some mechanic we're looking beneath the, the seal? Okay, it's Link, turn around. Okay, very cool. Now, I don't mind the talking, so I'm just trying to avoid if there's going to be any voice acting here, so let's just keep it quiet and find out. Okay, well, still, well, I'm just making sure there's not any voice acting, because it's just going to go and ruin my commentary, and I don't want that. Okay, so that's a new look for Link. So, he got here is the, on um, the right arm of the uh, mechanic of that, of this, uh, agent, agent arm, or wh whatever that is made of. I mean, it's made of an enchantment, but it may seem quite youthful. So let's see here. So we go ahead and jump. Okay, so we're just taking a dip further to the water. All right. So look to me because we're playing Breath of the Wild all over again. Because we're able to get to explore many new lands and many new areas around here. Because it's the same as graphic compared to the original of Breath of the Wild. Because I'm I kind of loving the fact that why they did that. Because they did a solid work to this to this gameplay. So uh, let's see now. So we got is uh, still more to jump. All right. Well, let's keep jumping and diving. Landing in water even from a great height that will prevent you from taking fall damage. Fair point, game. Fair point. Yeah, we we kind of knew already. We we know the risk. And uh, yeah, what is this? Uh, a chest. So we go open to see what's inside. So we get here is the the archic. What is it? The archic. I'm not entirely sure if I'm saying it correctly. Oh, the. Archelic legwear. Okay, so it's a simple classic legwear, very well worn in the stronger age, but they still got a few good wares left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. Okay, so we go ahead and open the the menu by pressing the the plus button. Okay, so okay, well this is a pretty cool, this is pretty cool stuff there. So we got here it's just armor and weapons. Okay, so. It's a similar that we don't got any shields and uh, and bows yet for our weapons, 
So uh, yeah, that that will be a moment too soon. Okay, so as you guys can see, because we've got none of these rubies. So yeah, so we'll put on the the archaic legwear on and keep exploring. Now we got here is a lot of places to go around here. So let's see here. Now we can go ahead and climb up this. So uh, what are we looking at here? So let's uh, go ahead and rotate the camera around. So there's like way too much to do around here. Oh, okay, so there's the, there's the light. Which will go ahead and lead us to the outside world of Hyrule. Okay, so I think this is going to go and show the, um, the full custom of... Well, technically we get to the show... It go and show the title of The Legend of Zelda Tear of the Kingdom, I hope. Okay, so here it comes. So... We're able to get this um this full title of the Legend of Zelda Tear of the Kingdom. So now that we saw because okay, but well that dragon is a back in the background. Yeah, because it seemed like that we're taking a, a very long fall. Because talk about Skyward Sword, I mean, that is how we see that link go ahead and and sky die. So that way we go ahead and call in our Loft Wing. Well <laughs> well believe you me, I mean Loft Wing wasn't in this game. Okay, here we go. So, um, that is the Legend of Zelda Tear of the Kingdom for y'all. So, yeah, because we get to go ahead and explore many rooms and, and a whole lot of each of mechanics going on around here. Okay, so we go press and hold to, to accelerate while we're diving. Okay, and let's uh, get on this lily pad and let's go ahead and see what's... What's going on around here? So yeah, there's like too much to do here. So, are we getting any objectives available? Okay, I don't think so. Okay, so we're seeing a bunch of these uh, lily pad mechanics. So let's just go ahead and take a moment of our time by dashing. So we only we only taking free heart and one of our stamina. Okay, well let's keep going. All right, and what is this? Okay, so we're at the Great Sky Island. Okay, well, there's uh, many new interesting areas to go here. So we pick up here the tree branch, the so wooden branches, such as this are, are uh, this are pretty common, but it's a surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but they can serve it as a weapon in, in a pinch. Well, yeah, it may seem quite useful. So uh, yeah, well, I I kind of know my uh, breath for the wild basis, so we can go ahead and print the D stick on the right to go change weapons. And just to uh, explore this place around here. So wait a minute. So what is this? Oh, okay, well, that is brand new. So, hold on, so the magic sword is running low on energy. Wait, what? Okay, well, let's not go use the magic sword. Well, that is taking badly damage. Okay, so we'll take another tree bread. And go finish it off. So, uh, what we got here? So, we got here is the soldier construct horn. A blade of light corner from the soldier construct. It's a very sharp and so handle with care. Okay, so we got here the Zonite Charge, and material used as a power source for construction and other devices. It's a strange light that seems to reveal potent energy inside. Okay, very cool, interesting stuff going on around here. So uh, what we got here? So that's a new weapon. So that's here, the wooden stick. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Nice, okay. So no one knew what this what this stone is made of. I mean, that's, um, that, that used to look exactly like some, I, no, I, I just can't explain the whole rest of it if I don't know any about that stone. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and move out. So there's uh, like way too much to do around here because that, there's uh, a lot to do here in Tears of the Kingdom. So uh, let's just go ahead and look around for some clues and see what needs to be done around here. So we can go ahead and climb up this mountain. Okay, so uh, what we got going on here? So now it's it's never late too soon because I can't go ahead and paraglide in this. So this is here is Sky Shroom, a common mushroom that grows in the trees on Sky Islands. Eat it to restore health. Okay, so uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at here. So it's a seal like to me because we can go ahead and use one of these materials because they could that could be put in good use and kept we had the bow and arrow. We're able to go ahead and craft some materials and go use it to take on certain enemies. Now we're getting here is uh, another of uh, this. Oh, actually, yeah. Well, that's already dead. So let's go and examine it. 
Okay, so what is this a mechanic made of? Of this construction? Okay, so that's getting a little twitchy, but then it's alive. But wait, so it doesn't want to attack us? Okay, so can it speak? Okay, so this is Stuart Construct. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Okay, so she left something for me? This is the, uh, the Pura Pad. I am a told it, it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with directions. Well, technically that is a, a she can slay. It's your, te it's your telling me. That's something I had to do by um by tra trademarking this whole map of where we are. Okay, well, dude, the pure pad it is. So Princess Zelda prides the device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Okay, so we get to go and open the the select button with the minus. All right. So back go ahead and show what where we are now. So we're at the Great Sky Island is where we are. And we need to be somewhere over here, so um, yeah, let's go select that. And for our adventure log, it says here, So you found yourself on a strange island in the sky after you awoke. A steward constructed claim that the Princess Zelda gave it her pure pad, all to get it into your hands. The device and map show a yellow pointer of light. The constructor say that where, where you'll find the princess. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure she's not dead. I mean, she's... She is glowing a bit by this um this source of this um this life form, but uh, yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure she's somewhere inside of that construction area. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My record indicates that, that Princess Zelda is awaiting at the location marker on this map. My message has been delivered. We stand in the, the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Okay, so we have to go find Princess Zelda next. Okay, so we got we're getting nothing new for our adventure law, so let's just go and examine it. So we go ahead and palm my hand to this uh, green seal. So that go and make a bridge for us. Okay, well that's quite an interesting contraction going on there. So we're able to go and make a stone bridge. So we are able to, to move on. All right. Now let's just go and explore more around here. So we're not getting any. When I get any new accessory going on around here, so let's uh, let's go ahead and check the place out and see what need to be done around here. So we go and climbing up this mountain to, to see what's new. So over there, we got I can barely saw because there is another this uh, sky shoe we can go, we can go collect that. So there are a lot of these uh, sky shoes lurking all around here in in the sky in the sky garden. Okay, so let's uh, move further this way. So I, now, if we go ahead and, yeah, well, still, I mean, our stamina wheel had, did run out of juice. So yeah, we'll, we'll go get some more and get we run out of it. Okay, and we got here is uh, these apples. So a common apple eaten by people since the ancient times. Eat it to fresh or cook it to increase its effects. All right, then. So let's, let's go and be picking up some apples. And that's a tree bird. We won't bother picking that up by any time soon. Okay, so this is Stuart Construction is back. Hello, you seem to be new here. Do you intend to use the bat as a weapon again for the Soldier Construct? Uh, yeah, so uh, what is Soldier Construct exactly? Soldier Construct are those of us that are given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created a directed of them to eliminate the trespassers, they will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponent. Sweat it haphazardly will not yield results. Okay, so we go press and hold the, the ZL button to go use it, I think. You may practice target on me if you want. Oh, but the please do not actually attack. 
Okay, so now this is simple. So you go ahead and press and hold the ZL button. Okay, but go ahead and draw attention to go focus. And we go ahead and pick up these bases or these, these pasta. So we go fraud it. Okay, so we get here is the free apple. So we, we just go ahead and waste one of the tree bread. So let's go ahead and use another weapon. So we got here is two of the, each wooden sticks, which have four agilities on it. With, I mean, it have four durability on it, I mean. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this way. So I think this is, this here is the next platform where we go ahead and sky jump. Okay, so we find something where someone saw the land, but just water. Alright, now let's go ahead and explore this fog over here. Okay, so there's a, it's another enemy with it's holding a wooden stick. Okay, and I'm taking a little bit of damage. Okay, so we'll be taking another wooden stick. Okay, I don't mind about the other uh, tree branch, so we, we could just leave that there. So we're using these wooden stick as a weapon. So let's go ahead and keep exploring. So we'll we're, we'll, we'll still pick up more of these uh, sky shroom if we wanted to. And yeah, well, let's just keep moving further this direction. Yeah, because I look at all of these mechanics around here and every other graphics. I mean, it's, it, looks, it looks quite brighter now because everything is um is turning out a whole lot bigger. Because we're not in Hyrule Castle anymore by some point. Okay, but now what is this? Okay, so I'm going to go kill that creature. Okay, so we'll get here. So we'll get here is some raw meat, alright? Some meat obtained from animals and plains and forests. You can eat it raw, but the cooking it will make it more delicious and nutritious. Yeah, so uh, keep in mind because we can go ahead and find some uh, some flint or some wood to go ahead and set campfire so that we that way we go and cook up a a fine sear meat or sear steak is uh it's what I mean. Okay, now let's go and see what what lies around here. So yeah, now we get in here. It's another of this of this enemy we can take out. So we, we'll pick up more of this wooden stick. But it seems like to me because we can go ahead and carry more and more weapons, I think. So yeah, well we can go and carry a, a bunch of these weapons. So how many weapons can we carry? Oh, okay. So I think we were only allowed to carry, but at least all how many? How many are we supposed to carry? Four, five, six. No, hold on. So it's four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we're only allowed to to carry at least seven. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. I think we were supposed to, to, to carry nine. All right. So there's only nine weapons that we can carry. Okay, so you look friendly. So you're another construct guy. Oh, you're still a construct. Okay. Uh, hello. Were you alerted in by the delicious smells? I assume so. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. They may also be tastier and more nutritious. I would not know. Okay, so you're roasting them. Is what you mean. Oh, you are unfamiliar to me. My apologies. I'm on my task is to explain anything that the first time a visitor might require knowledge of. You may have a question about this place. Please rest assured that a constructor can answer them. I recall that your question was about the roasting of food. I wrote the ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it's an improvement of taste. Our creators wrote the ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invited you to use this fire to roast them. Well, I do have some of the ingredient types. So we get here is the Toti Sky Shroom. It's simply a grill sky shroom. The heat that brings out its flavor and increases the amount of health it can restore. Okay, well that's good to know. So um, let's see. Now we do got here is two of the raw meat. So we can go press an F to drop into the fire. And we'll do the same thing. So we'll just wait until the fire actually... I think we got to get a little bit closer. Because we don't want it to get close to the fire. So let's hope we don't mess this up. Okay, so we're going to keep going. And we'll go ahead and toast these apples if you like. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cook these apples. 
Okay, so see what we get here is uh, one of the sear states. So meet the cooker over in open flame. Cooker data has increased its flavors and the numbers of hearts it provides. Okay, so we get here is two and a half hearts. Okay, so pick it up this baked apple. It says here, direct the heat that has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. Okay, now let's go ahead and cook the rest. So uh, I recommend that we keep cooking more of these the toti shrooms, the, the toti sky shroom, I mean. Okay, well, let's keep let's keep at it. Okay, so we're able to go and cook up six of uh, the, the toti sky shroom. Okay, so only got five left, so let's keep cooking. Yeah, so I recommend we keep on cooking more of the sky shroom. Okay, so we want to make sure we, we cook all of the Toti Sky Shroom. So that way we have more of a, enough, and more of a, the HP that we can discover by eating more of this uh, Toti Sky Shroom. By restoring more hearts. Okay, so I think this must be it. So we are successfully finished on cooking up the, the, the food. And we were able to go and step up upstairs. Where we see one of these um, these stairs that are constructible that, that which I have already fall apart because Hyrule Castle did fall in and turns out because we were able to go and explore what comes around here in this whole sky area of this world. Okay, it's a more likely that way when we play the new one, the the, uh, the old school version on the Wii called Skyward Sword. So it seems like that this enemy got a shield for some reason. So uh, yeah, let's make sure we we eat up something. Yeah, well. Hold on. So now, yeah, we can't go and eat one of the food. So we'll go eat one of the sear steak if we have to. Okay, so let's go pick up the sword. So we got here, it's a rusty boy sword. So this guy here is five durability. There's a one to fear some sword that has been better days. It can do some damage in the right hand, but also breaks quickly. Okay, and we got here this old wooden shield. In the age of worn out the wooden shield, it can withstand a lighter attack as such as arrows. Um, okay, cool stuff. Okay, so raise your shield with, uh, by pressing hold ZL. Alright, so let's go use that. So, yeah, so that's the only way we go build up focus. So we go press on ZL to go build up a shield. Because that's the only way we go and reflect the, the enemy's attack when, whenever weapon they held in, the, in that tip of mechanic. They go ahead and backtrack at you by swinging their swords and then you you had to go and put up your shield to to the to block their attacks. Okay so moving moving up here so there is a, none of it's a seal we can go ahead and place our hand palm to it um okay so it's no good Okay, what's going on here, game? What's going on here? That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raro. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? The shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key.
Okay, so we have to go close the door. Okay, so this um this new character, Roy Roy, I mean he he let us keep you the swords of uh, our right arm. Okay, well technically he is the swords of the, of the right arm indeed. So uh, yeah, we go open the, uh, the 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 adventure log and it says here for our, for for the uh, report for Roy Roy. When you uh, tried to open the door to be a temple of time, Roy appeared and said that he was the original owner of your new arm. You also say that you need to revitalize the arm so that the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, to visit the island shrine, a green light that spirals above each of them. Okay, so now that seems to be a, a new, a, a new shrine that we witnessed to to discover that that type of mechanic. So let, yeah, let's just go get right after that shrine right now. Okay, well there's uh, many a new mystery to solve in the shrine, so let's go ahead and plus downward. Okay, so we go ahead and lose a little bit, but. But further damage. Well, yeah, technically, I mean, we we don't have any food resources in our in the, in this material right right just here. So um, let's just make sure we yeah, let's make sure we get the in the food. Okay, so we'll sco we'll discover that HP. Okay, so as you guys can see, so we got here is food and materials now, and including the and the shield. Okay, so those are the two we need to go get. So I think we were supposed to go and get one of these accessory and the, and I think the next of the armor we need to get the the bow. Okay, so I think yeah, so this enemy have a bow for some reason and it held the the arrow. So it's it's holding arrow and it held a bow. So this is the old wooden bow, a wooden bow from the olden days. It's a belt for hunting, but it's not very powerful. Okay, so we go get the press and hold the ZR button and release the uh, the ZR to to fire as well. Okay, so we pick up here is five, uh, two times five arrows, a bunch of five common arrows. Be the shadow of the, the arrows that were carved from the wood of a sturdy tree. Okay, so we pick up here is a soldier construct horn, and moving up here. Now, I don't quite see any chests available. But uh, yeah, let's just continue moving. So, it seems like that we gotta go get Kara, Manessis, and everything. While we continue exploring every other land. Okay, so this guy can start and go and pick up a rock and start throwing stuff at me. Which is kind of rude. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. Now we... So we don't want this uh, decay mat to sort of go away. So let's just get to use the, the wooden stick. May seem like um, a pretty decent weapon and mechanic to go use, but it has a, a low durability, but it, it's not a good weapon to go use by some point. But yeah, let's just go ahead and check what's upstairs. Yeah, well, it's a different shrine and that what we're looking at here. So, okay, now we're getting here is the mushroom. A mushroom that can grow almost like anywhere, but the preferred ceiling up in a sheer cliff. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. Okay, well, that may seem true. Okay, so we let that, that thing go. Alright, now let's try to do so, conquer one of the shrines, so I would keep climbing. So, uh, I just can't even pronounce that. So, this is Yuko, Yuko Shrine. Okay, well, let's go and examine this. Okay, so we place our hand on the seal, and that was supposed to go and open the, the, uh, the next seal way to the other shrine I think oh actually okay so it, so what what we're looking at here so that go open the way to uh to the to, to this new shrine okay so we go inside so we're able to go and take on our first shrine okay so we get here is uh, one of this uh, new loading screen which is so cool So you made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these the places that was light that purchased evil. I believe that this light will restore the ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Now, then, attend your arm and attend your hand. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So we're just lifting up a hand. So what what source of its power we we about to get here? Okay, so we get here is this spirit orb, a different type of spirit orb. 
Palm into our hands. Oh, that's an ultra hand. Okay. Grab it and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Cool, all right. Mm. Cool stuff. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really anything that you can imagine. Mm. Use the ultra hand and receive the blessing from the shrine. All right, can do. Okay, so we go activate with the L button. So let's go use it. So this is a pretty cool stuff there. So we're able to go ahead and select and decide which wheel chart that we can uh, acquire by each abilities. So the ability to create. Okay, so now this is pretty different. So it's even better than the uh, Meniscus. So we're able to, to use one of this, um, this Ultra Hand. It's what Raw will give us. And we're able to go ahead and lift platforms and go ahead and place it by stacking to to recent fervor opticals. So yeah, well let's say keep moving. Yeah, well it's pretty cool actually. Well it's kind of different than than the the, the, the menaces one. So we go ahead and press and hold R to rotate, and we go ahead and rotate horizontal or vertical. Okay, cool, cool stuff. Okay, so we'll go ahead and and have that on horizontal. So uh, yeah, well, well let's make sure we steady it. Um, hold on. So let's pick that thing up again, and we'll go place it this way. And we need to get the next one. So the next one, it's us. Uh, it's behind it. Okay, so we go get the next ledge. Okay, and we go ahead and rotate this in horizontal. And on vertical. Okay, hold on. So we need to lift that thing up more. Okay, so I recommend we we keep it just right about here. Okay, so we'll go get the next one. Okay, so next one is what we need. So we already placed the other uh, second ledge. So we'll keep it vertical. And let's see what happens. So we go place it down. Um, okay, well Val <laughs> Well Val's never failed. I I wasn't expecting to to literally just um just pop right pop right down out of nowhere. Well, I just took the fall and I just failed my chance to go ahead and reach up above the ledge. So, um, let's place it right about here, I think. Come on, can we thing not do that? Get out of... Okay, get out of my way, please. Okay, now let's move up some. Alright, so we keep lifting. And we'll go place it right about. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I sincerely hope it don't go in and not the um the, the platform down. I'm just trying to move this way, so I don't know. I mean, can we just try moving up some? Okay, that'll work. We, yeah, well, to put it simple, I mean, we don't have to, to keep making it a perfect bridge. I mean, we just uh, have it flip downward and then move uphill so that way we go ahead and explore this next new place of this area. Now, whatever we're looking at here, so uh, what is this? So, are we allowed to look up this? Okay, now, this seems to be some puzzle we're looking at here. So, um, were we able to find this chest around here? Oh, okay, so I think we gotta go and lift this. Okay, so we go place it right about here where we press A to attach it. Okay, well, it may seem interesting. Okay, and we go and flip that vertical and horizontal. Okay, so let's see how this works. So would you place it just like that? OK, 
Okay, so what are we doing with this? So I think we were supposed to go and attach it. So let's see now. Yeah, okay, so we we can go and attach those two together. Interesting. Okay, and simply attach them, then what? So we're able to hop aboard? Okay, Link, can you turn the camera around? So I can't go moving while Link is standing on it. Okay, fair point. So how in the world am I supposed to get up there? So I finished attaching those two. So can I grab this? Okay, well this is a, a bit confusing game. This is a bit too confusing, so I'm trying to get over there. So what the heck is this puzzle? How does this get so confusing? Alright, hold on a sec. Alright, so I'm going to have to come back to that later because I want to go in and get this uh, treasure chest because getting to the other side to that, um, that last of the destination was so hard. So I want to go ahead and open to see what we get inside. We might discover something new. So we get here is uh, one of this ember. A, okay, well that's a, that's another new different type of ember. Well, it, it gets kind of different actually. It fossilizes a resin with a caramelized car car sheen to it. It's been valid as a component in the decoration in the crafting since the ancient time. All right, guys. So I want to go ahead and do another split because this is what I'm missing here. So as you hold on now, as we go press on L real quick. So you were supposed to go and stick the twos in order to make a bridge because that had me confused by a bit. So um, hold on now, come come on, please get up there. Can you please stick each other? I want to demonstrate real quick because this is getting kind of frustrating. Because I'm I'm starting to not like the shine one bit because using the ultra hand is the easiest tool to go use, but I'm trying to stick them together. So you were supposed to stick them with your ultra hand. So let's see how this works. What, are we allowed to stick them together or how is exactly this supposed to work? Let's say stack them up and freeze. So we can't go, okay, so we, we can't go and attach it with A. Okay, so we attach those two and we go make a bridge. You see, this has had me stuck and confused by a bit because I tried sticking to the one with the um with the riff on it but well technically it, it was getting kind of confusing to be honest so i think we we can't have that that piece go over there because that had me stuck by a bit so we want that right about here okay we want that to stick right there and we go attach it and then we go take this piece and then go and stack it well, actually, hold on. So I, that's not how we stack it. So we go rotate it first. Or, so we rotate it horizontal. Okay, that's not how we rotate. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, well, it's perfect. I'll, I'll take it. Okay, and of course, then we go ahead and move further. So uh, wait a minute. Now, do we have the... Do we have the ember already? Let me check. Okay, we already got one of the Zimber. Alright, and now we were able to go and finish the, the other shrine. So let's go and finish the job. And now what happens? So you have done well to reach this place. We offer this a light that will cleanse you of evil. Okay, so what are we getting here? A spirit orb? Okay, well, no, nah, I think it's different than a spirit orb. But it's yellow now. 
Yeah, so that's the only way we're gonna get more heart container and stamina for this. Okay, we got a long journey ahead of us. Because we got a long way of finishing this game. So this is the light of blessing. A crystal that glows with the light of that purges the agent evil and purifies it with its radiance. Okay, so we're able to take by only one. May the light of blessing grant you what the you seek. Okay. All right, so it's our first time around uh, 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 taking on the, the shrine that we, we already finished beating. So there are several more of these uh, shrines going around here in Sky Garden. Okay, and that should do it. You did very well getting through that shrine. And you were, you were storing an ability. This is wonderful. If you, visit the, uh, if you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrine in the distance with the pins, but you'll never lose the track of where you may are. But the pure pattern offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Well, yeah, I mean, it may seem quite useful. Okay, so we go ahead and you be the scope and pin. So, um, you distance things and march with them by... With, okay, so hold on, sorry. So, if you distance things and mark them with pins. Okay, so we go press... Tap R and place it a pin. Okay, so the similar example. So all you gotta do is just um press tap R, and then go ahead and track down to locate where the shrine is. Okay, so we got here is a simple is a color coordination to pin to the side which uh, shrine we need to be going. Okay, so we place that pin there. So we got here is um we got a, a dark a purple one, an orange, a green, and a pin. So, and a new one we got here is on light blue. Okay, so there are so many directions to, to go around here because, well, if only we had like paraglide, we can able we're able to go ahead and paraglide to to go soaring through sky, so that way we can go ahead and reach two other landmarks around here. But uh, yeah, I mean, I look forward to this. I mean, Tears of the Kingdom is um it's looking quite fashionable. It looks quite fun to play and on the Switch version, but yeah, I mean. It is changing the whole lot of environment around here. So I believe next time on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, we're gonna be setting out to the to the beaten as a mini shrine that we can we can search party around here. Because uh, I think the next time we'll go ahead and check on this uh, next shrine and see what's uh, new while we go ahead and visit that shrine. So that will be coming up on next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere and you will be particularly on stay tuned on the next series. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode. So if you like the series, if you want to see more of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, be sure to leave an avatar to like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, better know that notification bell so that you can stay up to notify to when we do some awesome videos. Have a lot of way, so just making sure you guys are staying tuned in, and that will have to do it for today. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this uh, brand new Let's Play of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We will be picking up all on the next one. So take care, guys, and I hope to talk to you on the next video.